All right, fellas, so let me show you. The drop charge is my favorite rig. You can fish it off the bottom. You can uh, uh, not get hung up so bad, especially on the rocks. And um, I'm using my Okuma ABF 40. And I'm using one of my dad's old rods. You know, I'm not really buying rods. Dad left me a bunch of rods. And so uh, best rod, best reel to use with drop shot for me is a bait feeder reel. The reel, you can peel drag without opening the bail. See that? The bail is closed. Sorry. Yet. I'm peeling line off. Close that bottom drag and you go back to the main drag. It's perfect for when I'm drop shot drifting on the river because when I get a hit, the first thing I will do is open up that secondary spring there, secondary drag, and let that drop shot hit the bottom and just peel off, let it peel off line. Just let it naturally peel offline. Until that fish is on, then I will set it and set that hook. That is my favorite rod and reel rig. Now, this is 12 pound test line, and I don't feel like peeling it all off and putting all eight pound on. So what I'm gonna do is tie a swivel on, Palmer, not or we could do a loop to loop connection be just as good but because these spinning reels tend to double up the line and twist the line so bad this triple threat swivel definitely helps stop that it's a it's a triple barrel swivel i don't know if you can see it or not but that's what i prefer to use tie whatever your favorite knot is there i'm gonna go get my knife typically when i'm drop shotting it's very much a finesse type of fishing where i really uh it really is uh, is every bit as finesse as the fly rod. I'm going to be honest with you. In fact, but it's actually more precise because I know where the depth is of all, at all times. I don't always run a swivel. If I had eight pound line on this, I wouldn't run a swivel. But and now, at the advice of a lot of you guys, I went and bought some Berkeley Vanish. Okay, because I've been wanting to get into some um, what do you call it? Uh, floor, fluorocarbon. All right. And what I'm going to do is peel off about six feet or so of fluorocarbon. This is eight pound test fluorocarbon because when drop shot and drifting like this, you need something that's a little stronger than just four pound line. And with eight pound line, you can land a pretty big fish on eight pound line. And so I just stretch out my line like that. Okay. And uh, that's it. That way, this is just leader material, basically. Just like your fly rod. Remember the fly, multi-species fly fishing series I was talking about, how you have your backing? Well, basically, this 12-pound test is my backing slash main line, and you're just using a, a eight pound test tippet, really. So here, I just use a whatever knot you want. One, two. Oh, I'm getting old, fellas. My eyes just can't focus on these little there we go there we go just a improved clinch knot like you tie on all my flies now the simplest thing is to tie a double overhand knot or figure eight knot down here on the bottom I'm gonna do double overhand it's essentially the same knot you don't have to wet it if you don't want there you have it Use whatever weight you want, just above that little stopper knot. I think I'm gonna put four on. Put as many on as you need to get to the bottom of the river. You, you get whatever size you need for your waters. If there's more current, you're gonna either use more split shots or bigger split shots, doesn't really matter. And then that's it, right? And as that's dragging along the bottom, if it catches on a rock, it'll just pull the split shots off and you won't lose any line. And all you have to do is just add more split shots if you want. This is essentially the first way I used to use this. Notice, I don't use a palmer knot for my drop shot. I mean, that's just ridiculous. You're gonna cut the, the leader in half, is what I'm saying. You're not gonna cut it, but you're gonna put it in half, okay? And you're gonna tie a dropper knot. A dropper knot, you just start as an overhand knot, but one, two, 
three and then you're gonna pull the bottom line back through it it's it's always best to just check out animated knots if you want to learn these knots they can do a way better job than I can teach you here and that's one and we'll cut that in half again and put another dropper knot here one two three Generally with my dropper rigs, I put two hooks on it. Oh, a little bit longer than I wanted that. And now you have a nice, cheap, efficient, easy dropper loop uh, rig for your system. And it's on a swivel, which will help cut the uh, down on the line twist because of these these you know coffee can reels like this can twist the line up pretty badly and you have a stronger main line than you have other line and you have you almost always end up with a line that's nearly as long as the as the rod itself because I like that because I can grab that weight and I can just pitch it out the reason you use drop shot is because that is on the river bottom all the time or tickling the bottom this okay is above the bottom all the time and it's following the contours and as you're sort of tickling the bottom that bait is being given action simply because of it just skipping across rocks and limbs and stuff and I get a lot of my strikes and what I do is I just let the, I don't even cast. I just let the weight all the way down to the bottom. And once I hit the bottom, and once I'm, just like the salmon steelhead guys do, once I can kind of feel the, tickle the bottom about every few, three or four seconds, you can feel it sort of tickle the bottom. You know you got a good drift and a good amount of line out for the current and the wind that you're in. You're always gonna be letting out and reeling in more line. That's why I only use one rod with this. That's why I call it a finesse rod system, just like my fly rod. That's why I use this particular type of reel because it's the closest thing you can get to a fly reel. And what happens is that the moment I detect a bite, and you'll, you'll, you'll feel those bites quickly, you flip that bail and you grab that line, all right? And you make sure that that line hits the bottom. You can either feed the line out manually or you can let the, the, just the tension of the line lead out, all right? And because you have those dropper loops on here, okay, that that bait is just sort of hanging free, and the and then it takes and the fish will hit it more aggressively. And then after they've hit it a couple of times, and you know they've got it in their mouth, you just you just mm, boom, and you set that hook, and it works. That, my friends, is the most effective drop shot rig that I have ever used. I'm gonna buy a new power head for my boat because this one here won't crank and I don't wanna fix it. It's just shot, I'm just done building and hot rodding these motors because <laughs> they're just not worth it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.